Before we start the compressor, we need to set the pressure. To set the pressure, we are going to use down or up arrows. Down arrow is going to reduce the pressure we want to run at, and up arrow is going to increase the pressure we want to run at. If we hit, and we need to keep it push, so it goes up to 12, which means under 75 PSI. If we keep down, push down, and then it is going to count down, and this is 100 PSI. Anywhere in between can be set. Once the pressure is set, all we have to do is hit run to run the compressor, or hit stop to stop the compressor. There is an emergency button, which should be used in case of emergency, which means you need to be stopping the compressor immediately. It is like handbrake on the car. Don't use it unless it is an emergency that, is, that you need to stop the compressor immediately. To stop the compressor, within its course of action, just hit stop. It is going to wind down and then slowly stop after 20 seconds. To run the compressor, hit run. And the flashing F or any other value means the compressor is ready to run. Right double arrow will change the, the values displayed on this display of the compressor. F in, at this left end means it is the frequency the compressor is running or if the compressor is in stop mode, it means it is the last frequency it was run. By hitting the right double arrow, we are going to go to L, which means load. It is the percentage of the maximum frequency it can run versus what it is running at. So we can see how much load we have on the compressor by looking at this when the compressor is running. The next value after we hit right double arrow is going to be shown the amps. This is the amps from inverter to the motor, which is telling us what actually internal ratings are of the compressor at, at the moment of uh, at the moment when when the compressor is running when we hit right double arrow again it is going to be p which stands for pressure this is the pressure we are going to reach outside of the compressor at the outlet of the compressor the next one is hours which is total running hours of the compressor which is 12 h will be disappearing because we need five digits to show and then if we hit again it's going to be t which is the temperature of the air and not the ambient temperature but the temperature of the air and of the internal compressor anything below 70 degrees centigrade which will be shown instead of lo after the compressor run for a while means that the compressor is in heating mode which will ne which makes the compressor continuously run and never stop when it hits to 85 degrees c the fan on top will start running and then the air will flow inside to the top of the air of the compressor when it is going back to 75 degrees it is going to stop and there will be no air uh, pumped out from the compressor outside to cool down the, when if we hit right double arrow again it is going to go back to the original value which is f when we hit run to run the compressor it is going to start increasing gradually because this is a VSD compressor and it is going to give you the frequency it is running at. Even at this position we can easily change the pressure we want the compressor to run to without any problems. The values load is as you can see is increasing it will go up to 100 which means 100 percent and to stop the compressor we have to use if it is not an emergency case you have to use the stop button or the reset button when there is an error on it and it will start slowly winding down as you can see the load is going down and wind, the compressor is winding down and then after 20 seconds it is going to stop by itself which we will see zero and the display will start flashing We're waiting the compressor to stop. And the compressor has just stopped flashing zero, which means it is stopped incomplete. If we use emergency button, it is going to give us E18, which is error 18. I'm using it. And it says E18, which means emergency stop pressed. So we need to release it by turning it, turning the knob on the clockwise direction and then hit 
start or reset button. So it is reset and we can use the compressor now. 